Hi everyone and welcome to the Mathsman YouTube channel. In this video today we're going to be looking at how to expand brackets in algebra. In this video we're going to work through five different examples which start easy and get increasingly more difficult as the video goes on so make sure you stick around right to the end to see if you can solve it. All of the questions in this video contain just one bracket but I have made a video on how to solve questions that contain two sets of brackets. I'll leave a link to that video in the description and it'd be a good idea to watch that one after watching this video first. So starting with the first example we have 5 and then we have brackets 5 plus y. So I start by looking at the number which is outside of the brackets, which is 5, and I multiply it by the first number in the bracket first. So 5 multiplied by 5 gives me 25. Then I take the 5, oops, and I multiply it by the y. So 5 times y gives me 5y. That's the first question. Dead easy. Second question. So we have y and then we have brackets 2y take away 5. So again, I'm going to multiply the number outside of the brackets, which is y multiplied by 2y. So that will give me 2y squared. Because when you multiply two letters together, it makes it squared. Then I've got y multiplied by negative 5. So that will give me take away on negative 5y. And there is the second one that's been expanded. Again, dead easy, hopefully. Now we have our first question that has a squared number outside of the brackets, but not to worry. I'm going to multiply 2 squared by, uh, not 2 squared, t squared, sorry, by the t here. So if we have a squared number and we're multiplying it by just a regular letter, then that makes t cubed. Easy. And then we're going to multiply t squared by 7 or plus 7 so t squared plus 7 gives us plus 7 squared example 3 so now we're going to be getting a little more difficult as we have a negative number but not to worry I know that if you multiply two negative numbers together it makes a positive but we'll see uh, about that in a little bit. Let's do negative 9y multiplied by y. That would give me negative 9y squared. And then I'm going to do negative 9y multiplied by negative 8. This is testing my um, times tables here. So 8 times 9 gives us 72 y and notice that because this is a negative 8 and because this was a negative 9 it's changed it into a positive because two negatives multiplied together make a positive so for this question here we've got negative 9 y squared plus 72 y so moving on to the last question in this video, we have negative L and then we have negative 5 take away 3L inside of the brackets. So as always, I'm going to do negative L multiplied by negative 5. So two negatives together gives us a positive. So that's going to change it to 5L. And then I'm going to have negative L multiplied by negative 3L. 
that's going to change to a positive because two negatives multiplied together makes a positive. And L multiplied by 3L gives us 3L squared. Now, because this has a power in it, I need to move that to the front of the answer. So it will be 3L squared plus 5L. Thanks for watching this video today. I hope it has been useful for you. If it has, then don't forget to drop a like down below and tell me if this is something that you found easy or found difficult. And as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, if you would like to check out the other videos in this series, this algebra series I've created, I will put a link to that playlist in the description for you to check out. Thanks again for watching and hopefully I will see you in the next video.